Before I start this video I want to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share it with your friends. And with that being said, can you believe that Forge of Empires is celebrating its 5th anniversary? We went through many ups and downs and achieved numerous milestones since 2012. We would like to thank you for playing Forge of Empires and for supporting us during the last 5 years. We'd also like to extend our special thanks to all of the regular forum members who constantly provide us with feedback, as well as supporters and moderators, who help make the community what it is today. To celebrate our fifth birthday, Madame Fortuna, who made her first appearance during Forge of Empires' first anniversary, will return to your city on April 20th. She'll take you on a short sentimental ride through the history of Forge of Empires. At the end of her small questline, you will be rewarded with new, more majestic versions of the Queen and the King statues. They make up a new set with a third building, Garden Ruins, that will be automatically placed in your inventory towards the end of our celebration event. On April 24th, there are upgraded versions of the King and the Queen which are obtainable as the final reward for completing Madame Fortuna's quests. The third building will automatically be added to the player's inventory on the 24th. You do not need to possess the king and the queen in order to receive the king and queen statue. King statue is a special building, which was first given as a reward during the 2017 5th anniversary event. The king statue produces coins every 24 hours. The coin production is affected by the town's happiness and by boosts of certain great buildings. King statue requires a road connection. The king statue comes with a special set bonus. When it is adjacent to other buildings belonging to the royal garden set, it will receive special bonuses. When adjacent any one other building of the royal garden set, it will produce some medals in addition to coins. When adjacent any two other buildings of the royal garden set, it will produce one forge point in addition to coins and medals. The queen statue is a special building, which was first given as a reward during the 2017 5th anniversary event. The queen statue produces coins every 24 hours. The coin production is affected by the town's happiness and by boosts of certain great buildings. Queen statue requires a road connection. The Queen statue comes with a special set bonus. When it is adjacent to other buildings belonging to the Royal Garden set, it will receive special bonuses. When adjacent any one other building of the Royal Garden set, it will produce 5 goods in addition to coins. When adjacent any two other buildings of the Royal Garden set, it will produce one forge point in addition to coins and five goods. The Garden Ruins is a special building, which was first given as a reward during the 2017 5th anniversary event. The Garden Ruins comes with the special set bonus. When it is adjacent to other buildings belonging to the Royal Garden set, it will receive special bonuses. When adjacent any one other building of the Royal Guard and set, it will produce 2% defensive boost in addition to happiness. When adjacent both other buildings of the Royal Guard and set, it will produce 3% defensive boost in addition to 2% defensive boost and happiness. The questline is presented by Madame Fortuna, as in the previous birthday event. Quest 1, requires to build 2 residential buildings from your era or 3 residential buildings from the previous era. Quest 2, requires to motivate or polish 15 buildings of other players and spend 7 forge points. Quest 3, requires to scout a province or research a technology. Quest 4, requires to gather 15 goods and in a production building, finish 1 hour production 4 times. Quest 5, requires to build 15 roads from any era and spend 10 forge points. Quest 6, requires to visit 5 taverns and collect 150 tavern silver. Quest 7, requires to in a production building, finish 4 hour productions 4 times and spend 7 forge points. Quest 8, requires to acquire 2 sectors without fighting and write 2 friendly and game messages to other players. Quest 9, requires to contribute 25 forge points to great buildings or research a technology. Quest 10, 
requires to recruit two units from your current era or three from the previous era and gain control over a province or plunder three buildings. One more thing. It may be a good idea to make sure that you keep an eye on our international Facebook page as well as on our Instagram. The links are in description. In the next days we will celebrate with a contest where you can win some nice mobile devices. Once again, thank you for supporting Forge of Empires. We are looking forward to many more years with you. Thank you for watching and happy anniversary.